All right, I have to apologize for that interruption. Apparently, my son has been filming Minecraft videos and ate up all the memory in the camera. And uh, we had to fix a few things. So where I was at is uh, what I was doing is I was aligning our selector spool, our uh, rear lines. And as you'll notice, when you have it all together against the dowels and everything else, this is going to spring because this is your 2-3 accumulator. And it's going against the return spring. Uh, and the accumulator spring uh, for your low 2 band. It's all in one apparatus right in there. So the first thing we're going to do is run a couple of uh, bolts. I like to put the center one in there. There's eight uh, 5 16 bolts and 3 quarter inch bolts that hold the main valve body down. So we're just going to go ahead and get most of these started. The three quarter inch ones are like the two at the back are the more critical ones. The other ones on the other side of the accumulator. I'll go ahead and put in our selector. This is a spring that gives you the feel of the shift. Go ahead and pull the dowels out now. Oh, I got too much grease on my hands. Here it is. Okay, now that as we're running those up, take a soft rubber mallet, go back here on your uh, lines, and tap these home. Make sure they're seated in there properly. As you're running that up, it's not really a big deal. It's not too complicated. Sixteenth headed uh, quarter inch bolts. And more time for torque. All right, one there. There it is. So we're going to go, and these all go to a hundred inch pounds. And I usually start at the center and work your way out in a spiral rotation. You can do all your uh, half inch headed bolts first. Five sixteenths. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Now we'll go back and do... You can at any time now that everything's seated. You can go back here and finish in your detent solenoid. Now we'll go back, do your three quarter inch bolts. You gotta watch these because these will pull the case here again, like some other builders been into it. Not no, not really uh, torqued anything worth the shit, you know. Now we're double checking. We're just seating everything in. All 
Alrighty. Now we're putting a deep pan on this one. So we're going to do a deep pickup. And uh, usually when you get your rebuild kit, you're going to get a baggie like this. Now I already put the governor screen in because I had one earlier, so I already put the governor screen in there. You're going to want to put it on this side, not this side. You want to put it to the inside because this is a supply and that's the return. And there's a couple of different O-rings that come in that also. Uh, you want the largest O-ring in the kit for your pickup. You know, obviously this one says case, filter, Pop it in there. If this thing looks like it's blistered or cracked, get another one. They're not that expensive. Alright, what did I do with it? It was right here. What did I do with it? Yeah, no, I can't. It, there it is. It's under the bag. And this is your long bolt. Um, now you can put a washer in there. You can see how much play there is, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on top. Maybe. Here. just to take up a little slack so I get that filter a little closer to the bottom And it's going to float a little bit. If this was in a derby transmission, I'd probably make that a little more rigid. But this is just going to float a little bit. No big deal on a driver. Alrighty. Basically, there you go. If you can't figure out how to glue an oil pan, then you probably shouldn't have done the rest of it. Thanks for watching this series. I hope you guys learned something from me. I know I'm not a well-spoken man, but I figured I'd do my best. WrenchmanRepair.com And uh, thanks a hell of a lot for watching all this horse manure. <laughs> Take care and thank you.